The Duke game is four days away, and Brett Thompson took one last trip back to Krzyzewskiville to catch up with some tenters and maybe uncover a decades-old mystery. Ah, tint checks. Krzyzewskiville residents flock to the headline monitors, let them know they're there, and check in via a cell phone app. It's how the monitors keep order among hundreds of eager residents who are lined up to see their Blue Devils take on the Tar Heels. But Duke didn't enter the week without controversy as sophomore guard Grayson Allen was caught trying to get a leg up on the competition. So I didn't see it actually happen in real life, but things you should know is that the Florida State player was actually holding and pushing him the entire game and hit him in the head right before the trip occurred. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I didn't see any tripping at all. Despite what they say, there's still more controversy surrounding Allen. As we've previously investigated on Sports Extra, Allen bears a suspicious resemblance to Senator Ted Cruz, who, according to 38% of Floridians, could be the Zodiac killer. That begs one obvious question. Is Grayson Allen the Zodiac killer? Well, I'm pretty sure Grayson was not alive when the Zodiac killer was around, so my answer is no. Only people I see Grayson Allen killing is, you know, just all the poor, poor UNC players that just had to make their way onto the court. But would Duke students still support Grayson Allen if he were the Zodiac killer? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Probably even more. I think it's official. Two months in a tent have made these guys lose their minds. Fearing for my life in Durham, I'm Brett Thompson reporting.